today we will start a new chapter in science one it is chapter number five it is called heat what we will do today is what we do whenever we start a new chapter whether it is maths or science we will look at what all we need to learn this chapter to understand this chapter and we will start understanding studying this chapter and in between we will take a tour of the chapter we will see what is there what is there in the textbook the chapter in the textbook definitely you will need your textbooks definitely you will need your notebooks you will need your pens to write on the notebooks and you will need your pencils to annotate in on the textbooks this is what we are going to do we will look at the prerequisites that is ki requisites means kya zaruri hai kaam ke liye prerequisites kaam se pehle ke liye so before we study this chapter what all we need to know take a tour of the chapter and we will start studying the chapter so we will complete one full topic which is called latent heat don't worry new words and we will start another topic which is called anomalous behavior of water some more new words latent anomalous don't worry you can keep your dictionary with you always you should have your dictionary with you let's start with the prerequisites very simple diagram i'm sure you have with you i have i have definitely shared this one or something similar to this last year states of matter and how matter changes from one state to another can someone please come out of mute and read out the three states of matter that are shown in this diagram yes chan go ahead solid liquid and gas thank you chan solid liquid and gas thank you and a very very simple example ice is solid water is liquid and water vapor is they are one and the same thing all three of them are made up of h2o a compound is called water a compound which has uh, in its molecule two atoms of hydrogen and one atoms of one atom of oxygen but depending on the temperature depending on the pressure sometimes the molecules are tightly packed sometimes the molecule are not so tightly packed and that determines what the state of the matter is solid liquid and gas and we have already studied the processes the different processes by which the state of the matter changes हम सबको पता है बर्फ को जब हम बाहर रखते हैं वो पिघल जाता है दैट इज कॉल्ड मेल्टिंग व्हेन वी हीट द वाटर इट टर्न्स इनटू वाटर वेपर भाप बन जाता है वेपराइजेशन सिमिलरली व्हेन वी कूल द वाटर वेपर हमने सुबह सुबह सर्दियों के दिनों में जब हम बाहर निकलते हैं वी विल सी कि देर आर ड्यू इन द एयर वी सी फॉग Kohra, and on cold surfaces we see water droplets barish nahi hui but the water vapor in the atmosphere it condensed wo solid wo thanda ho gaya and water vapor became water if we further cool down the liquid then we solid it so that is called freezing barf jamane ko hum freezing kehte hain so mainly there are three states of matter solid liquid and gas and the processes by which states of matter change are mainly once again the process of solid becoming a liquid is called melting process of liquid becoming a gas is called vaporization the process of gas becoming a liquid is called condensation the process of liquid becoming a solid is called freezing in addition sometimes what happens is solid directly converts into gas when we heat a solid whenever the solid the temperature increases the solid directly converts into gas we don't have the liquid in intermediate form intermediate state of liquid sometimes also the water vapor directly 
condenses into solid which is called deposition i mean the gas con uh, the gas solidifies the gas uh, cools down directly into which is called deposition deposition means uh, jam jam bat jam so this is this process of solid directly into gas is called sublimation and the process of gas converting directly into solid is called deposition quick question can you give me an example of sublimation we have studied about this we if you take normal ice we don't see the ice becoming water vapor directly ice first melts when we heat the water the water becomes water vapor give me an example i mean tell me the name of the compound which can sublimates turns from gas directly yes prachi correct answer it's dry ice dry ice that's the common name chemically what is dry ice very good karthik dry ice is the correct answer but what is it chemically solid carbon dioxide you know you remember we studied this when we studied the chapter on carbon and carbon compounds last year if we carbon dioxide gas and we cool it then we will have solid carbon dioxide that is called dry ice it is called dry ice because the moment it has its temperature increases it does not become liquid carbon dioxide it will directly convert into gaseous carbon dioxide it's called dry ice but again something is missing from this picture and that is something that was discovered much later and it is not even talked to all the students in all the schools but we have learned there is another state of matter correct answers in the chat that state of matter that the fourth state of matter is plasma is plasma last year i told you just to make it easy i told you fire is an example of plasma but this year i gave you a much better understanding explanation of what plasma is do you remember what exactly is plasma is it it's no longer fire now if you tell that it's fire no not acceptable what is plasma how is plasma the state of plasma different from solid liquid or gas don't worry this is not required for this chapter if you remember plasma is a state of matter in which we don't have atoms we don't have molecules we have ions matter exists in the ion form okay. that is plasma do you know or do you remember what is the melting point of ice if you know please speak up what is the melting point of ice how do we answer this question what am i asking what is the melting point of ice okay some of you are answering in the chat you are saying it is 0 degree celsius and it is correct so melting point temperature alfia 0 will not work chan 0 degrees will also not work we will have to say 0 degree celsius so this melting point is a temperature it is the temperature at which ice melts ice melts into water and it, that temperature is 0 degrees celsius what is the boiling point of water rahul if you know the answer you can speak up 100 degrees celsius okay correct so once again boiling point is also another temperature it, this is the temperature at which 
if, if you are talking about water, then at the temperature at which water turns into water vapor, 100 degrees Celsius. Now another question. What is the normal temperature for human body? जब हमको बुखार नहीं है तब हमारा टेम्परेचर कितना होना चाहिए कितना होता है जनरली सबका थोड़ा थोड़ा अलग होगा नॉट एवरी डिग्री सेल्सियस नॉर्मली द बॉडी टेम्परेचर इज 98.6 डिग्री सेल्सियस I I may be wrong. I may be wrong by one or two degrees, one or two decimal points. We can check later. This is what I remember now. Also, some of you have very rightly said the when we convert, when we look at the same temperature in degrees Celsius, I think it will be somewhere between thirty six and thirty seven degree Celsius. It's just like inches and centimeters. Fahrenheit is one scale, so degree Celsius is another scale. of measuring temperature another basic concept that we need to revise that we need to be very very thorough is the concept of heat heat is a form of energy we have already studied mechanical energy in which we have studied potential energy kinetic energy in the last chapter that we were studying both in science 1 and science 2 we studied about electrical energy and we saw how chemical energy was being converted into or nuclear energy was being converted into electrical energy we also saw how the energy of the sun and the kinetic energy of the wind was converted into electrical energy so heat is also form of energy and specifically when we studied uh, effects of electric current we saw how when we when the electric current passes through a conductor it also generates some heat it's a form of energy another name for this heat is thermal energy thermal related to heat related to temperature thermal energy and if you become a little more technical and try to explain what is this heat gussa ana to heat nahi hai na तेज भागना भी हीट नहीं है वॉट इज दिस हीट सब्सटेंस वॉट एवर सब्सटेंस वी टेक वेदर इट इज आइस और वॉटर और राइस और ह्यूमन बॉडी वॉट एवर सब्सटेंस वी टेक वेन वी टेक द टोटल एनर्जी ऑफ द सब्सटेंस एनी सब्सटेंस विल बी मेड अप ऑफ एटम्स मॉलिक्यूल्स each of those atoms each of those molecules will have some energy some energy because of its their its state position and some energy because of its vibration motion state and position is potential energy vibration and motion is kinetic energy the sum total of all the energy of all the particles that make up a, make up that substance that is the heat of a substance that is we say that is the heat energy of that substance because it is a form of energy the unit of measure unit of measurement is same as that of any energy which is joules i'm sure you remember this and along with joules joule is the si unit standard international unit there is a more common unit which is called calories hum kehte hai na kitna calories khana khana hai humko what is the requirement how much are we eating are we eating properly or not so that is also a unit of energy calories joules and calories joules is the si unit let's see if you remember the different methods by which heat is transferred there are three basic methods do you remember if you remember speak up if you remember type it in the chat one starts with c another also starts with c and the third one starts with an r one first correct answer in the chat khadija correct anyone else the first of the three methods 
is conduction. Conduction is transfer of heat by contact. ट्रांसफर ऑफ हीट बाय कॉन्टेक्ट अगर हम खाना बना रहे हैं तो हीटर पे हम बर्तन रखते हैं सो द हीट इज ट्रांसफर बाय कॉन्टेक्ट अगर हम किसी गर्म चीज को छूते हैं तो हमारा हाथ जलता है बिकॉज हीट इज ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम दैट हॉट ऑब्जेक्ट टू अवर फिंगर्स अवर बॉडी बाय कॉन्टेक्ट इट इज कॉल्ड कंडक्शन अवर बॉडी इज अ कंडक्टर ऑफ हीट Wood is not a good conductor of heat. Metals are good conductor of conductors of heat. जब हम खाना बनाते हैं, the कढ़ाई is made up of a material which is a good conductor of heat. But the handle of the कढ़ाई is made up of something which is not a good conductor of heat. So that we can pick up the कढ़ाई using the handle. Conductor. Conduction. Transfer of heat by contact. second one is called convection you have studied this at least it was there in your textbook in previous years in two different places it's there in science it's also there in geography convectional rain you have studied convection is the movement convection is the transfer of heat due to movement of the substance once again if we are taken some water if you are trying to boil water in a utensil hum pani ko to heater pe nahi rakhte water is there in the utensil utensil is there on the heater agar pani itna hai is level ka hai we are heating it only from the bottom but the entire water gets heated what happens is when we are heating it from the bottom the bottom part of the water the water that is at the bottom it gets heated when it gets heated it becomes lighter it goes up it moves up moves up it is coming into contact with other water which is not heated and it transfers the energy so this movement that is happening on the convection and the transfer of heat is possible because of the movement of the substance of course there is contact also but in case of conduction there is no movement there is no motion in convection there is the motion of the substance so this is possible only in case of uh, liquids and gases convectional rain mein humne padha hai na uh, the air gets hot it rises up when it rises up this is called a convectional uh, it makes a con uh, what uh, it rises up and then while it is rising it loses heat it cools down it forms cloud and then it rains convectional rain geography mein so convection is the movement motion of hot substance such movements are also there inside earth remember there is a core there is a mantle and then there is the outer solid lithosphere mantle is formed of it's it's liquid there are molten metals and it's hot not just the core even the mantle so there is constant convection happening and those convex convection that is the convection that is happening under the lithosphere they cause movement of lithosphere we have studied continent theory kaise thousands and lakhs of years ago all the land form was just one and then they separated out yaad aa raha hai kuch earthquakes volcanoes convection and the final method of heat transfer is called radiation in radiation there is neither any contact nor nor any motion sur bhi hoti very simple example sun how far the sun is but we can feel the heat of the sun on earth not just we feel sun is the source of energy for earth on earth how is that energy how is that heat energy reaching us do we have a wire do we have a conductor or a convection no it's that we are receiving the energy through light light are waves electromagnetic waves some part of the light we can see which is visible some part of the light we cannot see 
So we have infrared rays also. We have ultraviolet rays also. We have X rays. We have cosmic rays. All these are part of electromagnetic spectrum. There are different types of electromagnetic waves and energy, the heat energy is transferred through them. This is called radiation. Conduction is transfer of heat by contact. Convection is the transfer of heat due to the motion of the substance, motion of the movement of the hot substance. And third one is radiation, where heat is transferred, not by contact, not by motion, just by electromagnetic waves. Another concept which is different from heat is the concept of temperature. So when I asked you and I, you correctly answered about the melting point of ice, the boiling point of water, the normal body temperature, right? you, we were talking about temperature. And generally we associate temperature with heat and so our association is not wrong, it is right. It relates to energy. Temperature is something which is relates, related to energy. And we can even say it is relating to heat energy. Tum bolo ke mujhe ki if the temperature is high, and if, the, uh, if we have more heat, if there is more heat in the substance, the temperature of the substance will be higher. And you are right for most cases. But there is a difference between temperature and heat. There are different things. And that difference is on the second point on the screen. Remember, heat is the sum total of all the energy in the substance, potential and kinetic of all the particles. Whereas temperature is the average kinetic energy of all the particles, is the average of kinetic energy. So it is related to heat, but it is not heat. What is missing here? Potential energy. So when we are measuring the temperature, we are ignoring the potential energy that a substance has. Potential energy due to its position and state, we are ignoring that. And because it is a different concept, because it is a different value, different quantity that we are measuring, our unit of measurement is not same as that of unit of energy. Unit of measurement for energy. Unit of measurement of temperature is Celsius or Fahrenheit, which we already used, we talked about. Scientifically speaking, the standard, the SI unit of temperature is not Celsius. The SI unit of temperature is not Fahrenheit. The SI unit, the standard international unit of temperature is something called as Kelvin, K-E-L-V-I-N. Another scale. So the major difference between heat and temperature is heat is about both potential and kinetic energy of all the particles of the substance, whereas temperature accounts for only the kinetic energy of all the particles of the substance. Between heat and temperature. How are they related? Very important, very basic. Let's understand this properly. And if we understand this, then this chapter will be easy for us. How heat and temperature are related. As I said, usually heat is directly proportional to the temperature. Or we can also say temperature is directly proportional to the heat. More the heat, higher the temperature. Higher the temperature, more the heat. Directly proportional. Mark my words, usually, not always. Not always. Then what can happen? What else can happen? Do, are you, you should ask me, sir, are you saying that if we heat a substance, it is possible that the temperature will not increase? Yes. It is possible that we heat the substance and the temperature will not increase. That is precisely what I'm saying. If we heat a substance, yes, one possibility is the molecules, the particles will start vibrating much vigorously, the temperature will increase. The other possibility is 
the bonds between the atoms and the molecules will break the distance between the molecules will increase which will lead to the change of the state of the matter but not change in any temperature there will be a change but the change will not be in the temperature change will be in the state of the matter but even then direct always heat is transferred from the hotter object to the colder object kabhi colder object se hotter object mein nahi jata let us take a tour of the chapter now and we will understand ki kya hua temperature kyun nahi badha ya temperature kyun badha we will look at it in detail in this chapter <coughs> let me open the textbook for you the chapter starts on page number 62 it starts with the questions about heat and temperature and transfer of it we have covered that then the first topic that we will study is latent heat we have already discussed that this is what we will study today oh such a interesting graph yes there are line graphs in this chapter there are values to remember very interesting concept which is called regulation anomalous behavior of water more graphs more line graphs very interesting apparatus which is called hopes apparatus when we do this experiment we will have another interesting graphs two line graphs interacting with each other intersecting each other hmm? then we will study about dew point and humidity pasina kyun aata hai humko os kyun banti hai fog kyun hota hai we will understand what is this unit of heat what is a joule what is a calorie how are they related to each other he is this person beta pehli baar i think we are seeing the photo of this scientist james prescott joule so the unit of energy is dedicated to the scientist next topic that we'll study is specific heat capacity more values to remember aha maths heat exchange measurement of specific heat more maths then there are solved questions these are all maths questions then there is the exercise and if you pay attention the two graphs that are in the chapter are also there in the exercise there are three graphs in the chapter two of them are there in the exercise and yeah, as usual in science one the last question in the exercise is dedicated to numerical questions so 9 a b c d there are four mathematical questions this is the chapter when i looked at the chapter when i studied the chapter i see these main points first one is latent heat we will cover this today second one is anomalous behavior of water third one is about dew point and humidity fourth one is unit of measurement how do we measure heat and fifth one i think it's the last one yes fifth one is heat capacity these are the five different points that i see yes there is regulation uh, yes there is dew point 
Yes, there are other things also. Specific heat capacity, as Alpia said. Yes, that is also there. I'm just generalizing it. So we we will be covering these five points: latent heat, anomalous behavior of water, humidity, the unit of measurement of heat, and heat capacity. Let us begin with latent heat. Use your dictionaries. Tell me the meaning of latent. Latent is something that is hidden or something that is inactive, something that is soya. Latent heat is some heat which is not. We, we will not know if the it if the heat exists or not. It is hidden some way, and it is related to any relationship that we set between temperature and heat. When we heat a substance, sometimes there will be a change in the temperature. Of course, the temperature will increase. Change will be in the positive side. But sometimes we already decided, agreed that sometimes the heat will not result in change in the temperature, but it will result in the change in the state of the matter. हम गरम करते जा रहे हैं, but temperature will not increase. That means that heat is hidden. हमने उसको दिया है substance को, but it is not showing in the temperature. That is the heat that we are going to study. That heat is called the latent heat. That heat which cannot be measured in temperature. That heat which does not reflect in the temperature of the substance. छुपा हुआ Very interesting. Experiment directly from your textbook. We are taking a beaker, this tumbler or beaker. We are taking some ice in a beaker, and we are constantly measuring the temperature using a thermometer. So we have put the beaker on a stand. We have hung the thermometer from a stand. so that it is touching the mercury the point of the thermometer is touching the ice cubes it will measure the temperature tell me what will be the temperature tell me the range will it be 10 degree celsius what will it be because you have told me correctly the melting point of ice what is the possible temperature the thermometer will show us will it show us 10 degrees will it show me 2 degrees will it show me 1 degree Will it show me zero point five degrees? What will it show? We have taken ice. Chand is saying it will show three degrees. No, we are talking about ice. This is solid. Tushar is saying it will show eleven degrees. Why will it show eleven degrees? Prachi is saying it will show zero degrees. Why will it show zero degrees? RT is saying zero point five degrees. All of you are you are wrong. Then I am forced to think. Do we understand what melting point is? When you said zero degree Celsius is the melting point of ice, you only told me, and it is correct. That means ice will turn into water only at zero degree Celsius, not below that. what have we taken in the beaker we have taken ice now i am asking you what will be the temperature can it be 10 degree celsius if it is 10 degree celsius will we have ice if it is 0.5 degree celsius will we have ice is it possible is it agreeable to your own answers previous answers no so this temperature has to be something less than 0 degree celsius and yes that is what the thermometer will say so when we are starting with ice the temperature will be less than 0 degree celsius now to continue with the experiment what we do a is we light the burner it's called a bunsen burner the burner that we use in science labs it's called a bunsen burner 
it is just the same gas so when we light the burner what are we doing how can we say scientifically ye to humne matches li ya lighter liya humne aag laga di but scientifically speaking when the burner is under the container with ice very good we are applying heat we are applying heat and because the burner the fire the heat of the fire flame is more than the, the not the heat of the flame the temperature of the flame is higher than the temperature of the ice heat will transfer from the flame to the ice we are providing heat we are applying heat when we apply the heat of course the temperature will increase the temperature will increase it will increase remember where what was the temperature it will less than zero when we heat it we will see that the temperature constantly goes up slowly constantly goes up you will see that in the thermometer and it will go up till 0 degree celsius it will go up till 0 degree celsius and that is what is being shown in the graph what we are doing in the graph is we are plotting two things now this is the reason we studied coordinate geometry before heat on the we are making a line graph here on the x axis we are taking minutes time on the y axis we are taking celsius so at 0 minutes that means when we started the experiment the temperature was negative somewhere here no so above the x axis positive below the x axis negative where they intersect each other is the origin 0, 0 so below that negative temperature when we heat the temperature constantly increases and it becomes zero once it becomes zero we will see that all the ice uh, the ice will start melting not all the ice the ice will start melting we will continue the heating but now we will see something very very strange we will see that the ice will continue to melt but the temperature will not change the temperature will remain at zero so that is what we are seeing in this line graph time is moving time is elapsing so we are almost at say uh, above slightly more than 4 minutes but the temperature remains at 0 degree celsius we continue heating when we continue heating we will see that all the ice will melt and after all the ice has melted then we will see then that that the temperature again starts rising this is the third part of the graph and it will temperature will rise all the way up to 100 degree celsius another point so first point where the temperature remained constant for some time was the melting point of ice the second point at which the temperature will remain constant is the boiling point of water 100 degree celsius now what we will see is we will see that the water is converting into water vapor and evaporating because it is getting heated but there will be no change in the temperature this will be our observation part first part of the graph temperature of the ice increases all the way to zero second part of the graph ice melts all ice becomes water temperature remains same 0 degrees third part of the graph the temperature of the water increases all the way up to 100 degree celsius this is the third part final part of the graph the temperature remains same but the water converts into water vapor so whenever there are four parts right part 1 part 2 part 3 and part four very clearly in part 1 and part 2 we can see a change in the temperature but in part 2 and part 4 we cannot see a change in the temperature this is the latent heat 
this is where the change of the state is happening but the ch change is there is no change in temperature in the second part the first instance where temperature is not changing the state is changing from solid to liquid in the fourth part once again where the temperature is not changing the state is changing from liquid to gas this is happening because we are heating but the heat is not increasing the kinetic energy of the particles but it is increasing the potential energy of the substances it is changing the state of the substance so this is i've already explained when we when we are taking ice in a container we are constantly measuring its temperature and we are constantly heating it first what happens is that temperature rises temperature of the ice increases this is first part of the graph second part of second what happens is ice melts there is no change in the temperature then what happens is the temperature rises of what of water there is no ice now fourth part final part temperature doesn't change what water boils it converts into water vapor and evaporates this is what this graph is about very important graph there is a question related to this in the exercise if this type of question comes in the uh, exam you will not be asked to draw the graph no you will be in the graph and you will be asked to explain what is happening so explanation is this first the temperature of the ice increases then ice melts at the same temperature 0 degree celsius third the temperature of water increases it goes up to 100 degree celsius then the temperature remains same but water boils that is the liquid water con converts into water vapor if you look at the complete picture and try understand what is happening is let us see it as a system what are the inputs someone please speak up or someone please type in the chat in this experiment what are our inputs inputs mean humne kya dala us chand is saying the input is heat okay very good i thought someone will also say that ice is also an input yes that is an input but uh, that is a um, substance we are taking the input is heat thank you for saying that input is the heat what are the outputs very good one output is temperature what is the other output very good chan chan is saying boiling and melting so we can say one output is temperature and the other output i'm sorry is the change in the state of matter so one output is change in temperature another output is change in the state of matter if we understand this then we have understood the temperature we can measure with the thermometer change in the state of matter we can only see in another way we can also say that heat has multiple effects heat can change heat results in change in the temperature that is it results in the change in the kinetic energy of the particles of the substance another effect of heat is in the change in the state of the matter and when we say state of the matter we are referring to the bonds between the molecules of the substance if the bonds are stronger then the state will be liquid or gas strongest solid little weaker liquid weakest gas these are the effects of heat so with this experiment in this experiment we saw that sometimes when we are heating we are seeing the effect of the heat in the change in the temperature and sometimes we don't see that effect of heat in the change in temperature so that leads us to the basic definition of latent heat latent heat is, is the heat energy that is absorbed or released please 
make this clear, make it clear, may understand it properly. It is not only about absorbing heat. It is also about releasing heat. Heat energy that is absorbed or released at constant temperature during change of state of matter. That is the latent heat. In the textbook, what has happened is they have given you two different definitions. They have given you a de definition, two, specif two de uh, specific definitions, but no general definition. I'm telling you a very general definition of latent heat. Heat energy that is absorbed or released at constant temperature during change of state of matter, whether it is from solid to liquid or liquid to gas. So when the change of the matter is from solid to liquid or liquid to gas, the heat is absorbed. What will happen when the change of the matter, state of the matter is gas to liquid or liquid to solid? Do you think it will still be absorption of heat? No, it has to release. When water releases, then we will have ice, right? That is why this is a generic definition. This is a complete definition of what latent heat is. So if you break it down into two specific cases, when the state is changing from solid to liquid at a constant temperature and that heat that is absorbed, it's called the latent heat of fusion. And when the state is changing from liquid to gas at the constant temperature, the heat that is absorbed is called the latent heat of vaporization. Once again, what, what will we call it when the state changes from liquid to solid? That will also be called as latent heat of fusion. What will we call the latent heat when the state is change, state changes from gas to liquid? It will be same, vaporization. Very funny names we have come up with. Liquid to gas. We left to right naam de diya, vaporization. Latent heat of fusion, solid to liquid. And solid to liquid is not fusion. Liquid to solid is fusion. So, kahi humne left to right ka naam de diya, kahi humne right to left ka naam de diya. That is why I have simplified it for you. Heat energy that is absorbed or released at constant temperature during change of state of matter is called latent heat. Agar aapko koi pusta hai, what is latent heat of fusion? So, you will say heat energy that is absorbed at constant temperature during the change of state of matter from solid to liquid or liquid to solid is called change latent heat of fusion. Here, we are only defining the concept of latent heat. Science is not only about concept. Science is also about being precise. And preciseness is, of, is about measuring. So when we start measuring, we have another concept which is called specific latent heat, not just latent heat, specific latent heat. And there is just one difference from the general concept. And that difference is what is the amount of substance we have taken and what is the change we are seeing. So heat energy absorbed or released at constant temperature by unit mass of substance during change of state of matter. Unit mass. When we said latent heat, we did not bother how much ice we took, how much water we took, how much water vapor we took. Doesn't matter. Is the concept. But if you want to compare things, we need to be more precise. So if you want to compare the latent heat with respect to water, with latent heat with respect to oil, and we have 100 liters of water and liter of oil, that will be wrong. So when we calculate the latent heat for unit mass, SI unit is kilogram. Then it becomes specific latent heat. So we will call specific latent heat of fusion. So heat energy absorbed or released at a constant temperature by one kilogram of ice during the change of uh, state from solid to liquid or liquid to gas. So uh, solid to liquid or liquid to solid. Is, will be the specific latent heat of fusion of water or ice, H2O. This is the only difference. We are constraining the amount of mass. Same thing, 
similarly for latent heaters latent heat of vaporization we will call it specific latent heat of vaporization liquid and gases after this in the textbook a table is given where specific latent heats of some substances are given let us see the substances that are that have been mentioned in this table are water or ice the compound is h2o then we have copper ethyl alcohol gold silver lead the first two columns give us the melting point and boiling point we already know 0 and 100 for water ice hmm? specific latent heat of fusion that means solid to liquid or liquid to solid see we have already seen joules and calories now here we have not used joules we have used kilojoules and it's a specific heat that means per kilogram mane 1 kilogram hum ice lenge then we will have to give it 333 kilojoules of energy to convert that to water or when if we have 1 kilogram of water and if we convert that if we freeze that into ice then it will produce a heat of 333 kilojoules it can also be measured in calories per grams which is 80 similarly specific heat specific latent heat of vaporization ki 1 kilo humne pani diya then we will have to heat it by 2 by energy of 20, 2256 kilojoules to convert all the water into water vapor which also translates into 540 calories per gram good news we don't need to remember all these numbers not so good news we will have to remember the values for first row water ice 0103338225645240 out of these numbers 0180 and 540 are most used fill in the blanks and rewrite the you just tell me what will come in the fill in the blanks during the transformation what transformation of liquid phase to solid phase now in the textbook for the first time for you instead of using the word state the word phase is used is the same thing. so during transformation of liquid phase to solid phase or liquid state to solid state the latent heat is what absorbed or released that is the question liquid to solid what will happen left to right latent heat is not only about solid to liquid to liquid to gas solid to liquid heat is absorbed liquid to solid it is released latent heat is released similarly liquid to gas latent heat is absorbed gas to liquid latent heat is released very simple question number 5 is explain the following temperature versus time graph yes why is it called temperature versus time graph because we have temperature on the y axis and we have time on the x axis remember last year we studied distance time graph velocity time graph so we have temperature time graph now very important when you are making this when you are writing this answer you will not write paragraphs you will not write stories you will answer this in four points you will tell first point what is happening in the first part then you will tell what is happening in the second part then you will tell what is happening in the third part and finally you will tell what is happening in the fourth part that is all four points nothing less nothing more question number 7 very theoretical question what is meant by latent heat you can answer how will the state of matter transform if latent heat is given off now you tell me how will you answer this 
इसका क्या होगा लेटेंट हीट इज गिवन ऑफ मीन एब्सॉर्ब नहीं हुआ इट इज रिलीज सो वॉट माइट बी है क्या हो रहा होगा कब ऐसा होता है दैट लेटेंट हीट इज गिवन ऑफ इज इट जस्ट वन सिचुएशन और देर आर मल्टीपल सिचुएशन वेर लेटेंट हीट विल बी गिवन ऑफ because it is talking about heat giving off heat given off that means the state is either changing from gas to liquid or liquid to gas these are the two possible possibilities for this to happen for latent heat to be given off very good raj 7c explain the role of latent heat in the change of state of substances so we will say latent heat in uh, what acts on the bonds between the molecules and atoms in the substances and because of that the distance between the molecules increase the state changes from solid to liquid or liquid to gas to gas to solid gas to liquid or liquid to solid that's it bonds and distance that is all we are talking about. now something that we will start to do just start to do but we will not finish to do we will just see some interesting things and we will understand it in much better way in the next class right once again use your dictionary and find the meaning of the word anomalous anomalous and i think this is the most interesting part of the chapter where we will study that there is water acts in a very abnormal way not in the normal way not in the way that we will think it will work right very unlike other liquids other compounds let us see what it is questions fill in the blanks ice dash in water sinks or floats Pick the right word for the fill in the for the blank. Chemically speaking, both water and ice are made up of the same molecule H two O. Physically, water is liquid, ice is solid. Generally. what we observe is solids they don't solids are heavier solids are denser so they don't float they sink in water but if you do this simple experiment at your home also you just take a glass of water put some ice on it in it you will see what happens alfia you will do it and tell me what happens it will not sink it will float now think and tell why will it float why when will something float on water when will something sink and when will something float what is your understanding of sinking and floating hum aisa to nahi kar sakte na ki humko sari cheezon ka list bana kar humko yaad rakhna padega plastic kya hoga paper kya hoga lakdi kya hoga iron kya hoga that doesn't work there is a basic reason why certain things sink and why certain other things float and you know the answer let us see if you can tell me very good kartik alpi and chan all three of you are saying right if if the density of the substance is less then it will float if the density more then it will sink arti it is not about the weight shubham it is not about the oxygen it is about density density means wo kitna tightly packed if the molecules if the particles in the substance are very closely packed it is denser that denser things will float or the denser things will sink if the substance is not dense then it will float it is not it's not about weight not directly it's not about not at all about oxygen 
Now, ice floats. So what can we think? What can we very confidently say about the density of ice and water? Whose density is lower? Whose density is higher? Ice floats on water. Whose density is more? Which has a more den lesser density? Yes, correct. Ice floats. That means definitely 100% density of ice must be less than water. There is no other way a solid can float in a liquid. But, and this is why, Alfia, you got your answer wrong because it is, this is the anomalous behavior of water. Solids have higher density than the liquids. Th this is how we are defining the process of freezing. When the molecules come together, tightly packed, they become solid from liquid to solid. But that is not the case in water. In case of water, I mean, in case of H2O, the density of ice, which is the solid state of water, is less, not more, than water, which is the liquid water. This is the anomalous behavior. This is the anomalous property. And we will study this in detail. Yes, a cumulative. Uh, and what are the consequences of this anomalous behavior? There are good consequences and there are bad consequences also. Alfia, is it clear now why you thought ice will sink, but it will not sink? Your science was correct. Alfia, you thought that just like other substances, the solid of water will have higher density than the liquid of water, but that is not the case. Good. Sabne baraf ka gola khaya hai na? Usme pata nahi kaun kaun se colors or chini kya kya dal ke tum log khaye hoge. Khaye ho ki nahi khaye? Aur pata nahi kitne baar gala bhi kharaab hua hoga, bimar bhi pade hoge. Na baraf ka gola. You must have seen kaise banta hai baraf ka gola. Can someone please tell me? There is a machine or somehow we are, we will break the ice. We, we can say we can shred the ice or we can grate the ice. Jaysay hum sabji kaatte hai na? Chilte hai. Gajar ka halwa banate samay hum usko grate karte hai. Shred karte hai. So we can do the same thing with ice. Then what happens? <coughs> yes, Amar. We take the bigger ice block and we shred or grate into smaller pieces. Correct. Oh, okay. So I think what you're explaining to me is uh, you put the ice in the glass, in a glass tumbler. Have you seen the ice kagula, which is on a stick? Yes, we mold it. Very good. So what we do is we lump it. Humne, hum, when we first take the ice, we break it. We shred it. We grate it. Then we lump it lump it. Does it fall? Does it fall? Does it break into ice? Does it break into small pieces? Remember, we used a machine to make it into pieces. And all we did was we picked it in our hand and lumped it around the stick. And it is acting as if it is one piece. Right? Now it is acting as if it is fine. And then we put whatever we want to put on it and we enjoy our ice ball, ice kabola. Correct? We have eaten everything. Do we ever think we क्या फटे हुए पेपर को हम ऐसे ही पकड़ के फोल्ड कर देंगे जुड़ जाता है क्या कटी हुई सब्जियों को हम जोड़ दें हाथ से जोड़ सकते हैं वी कांट बट इन केस ऑफ आइस इन केस ऑफ आइस इन केस ऑफ वाटर वी कैन श्रेड द आइस एंड वी कैन लंप द आइस विद नो एफर्ट एंड इट हैपेंस लाइक मैजिक वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट दिस मैजिक इज Another situation 
that we may have seen maybe uh, when we get a big block of ice for a party or something and we cut that into pieces not break cut kabhi dekha kisi ne ice ko kaatte hue to cut the ice we don't need any strong uh, very big machines or anything even if we just take a metal wire and we press through the ice it will cut through the ice solid ice and after cutting if we don't take the blocks off they will again join yes magic not magic this phenomenon is called regulation this phenomenon is called regulation very very basic explanation is when we apply pressure on ice ice converts to water humne toda ya fir humne wire se ice ke upar pressure dala it converts to water convert to water so it cuts when we release the pressure jab hum pressure hata de माने बर्फ लिया हमने बर्फ को हमने वो लकड़ी के चारों ओर दबा दिया प्रेशर हमने डाला सो आइस कन्वर्ट्स इनटू वाटर जब हमने छोड़ दिया व्हेन वी रिलीज द प्रेशर वाटर रीकन्वर्ट्स इनटू आइस क्योंकि टेंपरेचर अभी उतना बड़ा नहीं है अभी भी वो ठंडा है सो जस्ट बाय प्रेशिंग एंड रिलीजिंग वी आर एबल टू जॉइन द आइस कट द आइस लाइक मैजिक this is called regulation so for us to be ready for the next class this is what we are going to do we are going to read pages 62 to 66 till dew point and humidity we will not read what is given in dew, dew point and humidity we are we are going to read till that point so uske upar tak usse pehle tak we will complete our notes so notes would include states of matter latent heat specific latent heat those things and we will answer these questions from the exercise we have already seen these questions in the class 1c was the fill in the blank question number 5 is about the graph 7 and 7c are about latent heat you will complete and share it with me by tomorrow night that is 15th of september that is it